morning guys, Ben here, 100M man, it's Monday, this week I start my 100 days to my new project, so lots happening this week, busy weekend, super chocker weekend, which is good, I like to be kept busy, made some shifts in my weekly schedule based on the feedback that I got myself from how things were working when I did my 100 days to Ironman. So in order to retain the quality that my clients deserve, being proactive, being a father, having relationships is important obviously to take the feedback on board so that you're not applying any additional pressure to your life when you commit to change, commit to doing something for you. Because ultimately everything requires or deserves your commitment. Not one thing deserves it more than another. And if you'll find that you're under committing to certain tasks then Perhaps it's time to look at the bigger picture. That's really what I wanted to talk about this morning. Not my diary management, but the deserving that individuals have over and to design their own destiny. Design their own destiny. That's gonna be the, the term for today. Because we all have choice, we all have the ability to do something or have something in our future and it does require a bit of hard work, a bit of pre-planning, quite a bit of change perhaps. But we do have control over, over our own blueprint and it's some of the things that I learned off the masters of success over the years in my businesses specifically this was applied not within the coaching and the people like Sir Richard Branson Sir Alan Sugar Damonita Roddick you know the, the pioneers of the 80s that turned passions into actual real legacies. Now I live not so far away from where Damonita Roddick had or lived and was brought up. She was brought up or lived above the fish and chip shop on Little Hampton Riverfront and li I live actually very very close to the main UK body shop Headquarters. She built this magnificent building that's going to stand, hopefully, for many years to come. And if we think back, she had a product line with a good ethic, with a good legacy to start with. She knew what she wanted. She worked towards going to get it on an hourly, on a daily basis. She understood that legacy ultimately needed to be something that was designed internally. When I say designed by your own blueprint, I mean that we are effectively all brought into this world the same. Kicking and screaming, gasping for our first breath. When we leave the world, effectively we're doing that in reverse. But that bit in the middle where we do have control over our conscious, conscious thoughts and over our choices, we can take the actions on a minute by minute, an hour out by hour basis to make sure that we are fulfilling those dreams, those aspirations, the things of life that we actually truly deserve. And if you think about it, if you took just one choice per day that contributed towards a legacy after 
a hundred days, hundred weeks, five, ten years, that legacy would have matured massively. And I speak about it a lot, take some action today and tomorrow it's going to be easier. Take action today, look back a year and you'll be a year ahead of where you were or wouldn't have been if you hadn't started. And it's a difficult one to spark because from my experience in dealing with people on a one-to-one -one level, I understand that the action is generally motiv motivated by pain, motivated by something that has spurred you to go out and take action based on perhaps a negative situation, a negative behaviour, a negative environmental factor that would have been out of your control. But in sometimes it is within our control. I worked a lot within an, a clinic that I had in London with people with uh, weight-related issues, self-inflicted predominantly. And although not uh, an area that I want to touch on, I think it's important that with weight-related issues, it's not something that happens instantly. It's not an effect or a situation where you've been put in where the negative emotions have been taken out of your control. It's a situation of which you feed yourself to a point where either the reflection ultimately becomes the driving force or it's the advice of a professional who takes away life, longevity, health and happiness. But if you're watching this right now and you have the choice, you're fit, healthy, but there's some mindful aspects that you're thinking about changing, then I'd be asking yourself why now isn't the right time for you to be making those changes. Why now wouldn't be the right time? Why you wouldn't be working towards the future self that you deserve? Going back to the statement, we design our own destiny. I know where I'm going made it very clear a few years ago and I'll show you something in a second but I when I was at school I was told by my English teacher and perhaps she's watching that I would never write anything that would amount to anything worth reading which is amazing because this book was a UK number one bestseller on stress, still is in the charts on a regular basis. It's been translated, my other book, How to Change Your Life, has been translated into Chinese, Arabic, several other languages, and remains a very, very good resource for thousands of people per year. Physical book. Chinese, one of the largest spoken languages in the world. English, number one bestseller. One of the best selling books in the UK during one of the busiest times. And I mention this, not because I wanna boost any kind of ego, ego or credibility over what I'm saying, but for the simple reason that I'd have held on to that belief structure not taken control over my own destiny. I could have lived within that belief structure of another. I could have retained that belief about not being deserving, not being able to, based on the limitations of another. We design our own destiny, we are in control of it. If your environment, and I'm gonna do another video on environmental factors, not nature, but the ones that we control or have the choice over. If you're in a relationship that isn't supportive, when I mean relationship, I've done a video previously about relationships being the vessel of communication, but if you're in a relationship with anybody, your work colleagues, your boss, your lover, 
your children, your parents, that isn't working, then you need to think about a way in which to either change it or move on and move out because they have a massive control. I'll speak about that in another video, but you are controlled over the choices you make. You are in control over your destiny. If you need a little bit of, of reminders or alignment, then grab a pen and paper. Start writing down the answer to this question. One of the best questions that I ask clients to reflect on over a week. Who are you? Who are you? Not, my name's Ben, I'm a self-help author, entrepreneur, father, you know, all of those things. Not reading off a list of the external reflections of what people believe I am, but who am I internally? And if you can reach a place of honesty, perhaps meditating beforehand to clear the mind, and then go through that process and start scribbling words down. It doesn't have to be descriptive words. You could say a colour, you could say a sound, anything that you believe you are. Who are you? Then ask yourself, based on that answer, perhaps a week later, whether you're in alignment with that, whether you're working towards that every single minute of every single day, whether the choices you're making today are supporting that structure, that belief, whether there's beliefs that you've installed from another that are restricting that. You design your own destiny. That's it for today. Good news or some exciting news coming soon with regards to my next 100 days journey. I've got a couple lined up for 2018 already, uh, so two years away, based on the registration processes, or process, been invited to one in 2017, which is brilliant, based off the strength of my last 100 day journey, so uh, yeah, that's it for now, thanks for tuning in, please remember to subscribe using the link below and head over to the website, website 100nman.com sign up to the newsletter for, for, for more tips and advice. For now, peace out, be safe.